Welcome everybody. My name is Monica Ritchie. I am so excited tonight. We have Devon Delgado, founder and president of Devonville.com, right here in the studio with us. Oh my goodness. Oh my god, I have Monica Ritchie interviewing me. Mm. Mm, love, Lovely. Oh, Lovely. this man. Oh, love this man. Okay, people. So, this is all brand new. I want to ask Mr. Devon several questions that have been just, I don't know, everybody wants to know. Everybody does. So tell me. Inquiring minds. Inquiring minds always. Awesome. Okay. So you have a new book coming out. Yes, I do. Um, it's oh. called Survival and Redemption. Survival. And Redemption. And Redemption. Okay. So tell me what was the inspiration for this book that you're writing about? Um, the book was inspired by my life story. Basically, it's what I went through as a child. All the hardship, all the struggles, the abuse, sexually, mentally, physically. I basically want it out there for other children that have been abused. I want to be the children's voice. That's my thing. Because I, I didn't have a voice when I, know it, I, know when it. I was growing up. Well, and so that that's why I the opportunity exactly. to give back and to help. And actually, I had the honor of already having read the final version of it. And it is so moving. So moving. And I just want you to tell uh, our wonderful viewers out there. Awesome. I want you to tell them about the other things that you do. Because I know that you not only have written the book. But you're well, also a volunteer. Well, yes, but well, back up, back up. Okay. Yeah, back tell up. me, tell me, back, tell me, tell me, back up. Tell me, back okay. up. Okay. Survival okay. Redemption has some contracts right now. We're still negotiating with two different companies. Uh, one is a major, major company, publishing company, which I had the honor of talking to them this afternoon. And the other one is a school board company. They're trying to get out, launch it through the school system. Either way, it will be phenomenal for me and my career. And, of course, orthodonmedia.com which is the company that I'm associated with. Um, and I, I just can't, I, um, it's bonkers, because I can't wait to see well, what so happens exciting. and who picks and, me and up. Everything is oh, so exciting right now. And it's, it's such a so big passion. brand new. It's such a big passion. It is. I, well, I want, it's like I, your dream come true. He, I, call, I call it Mr. Devon Delgado's magnum opus. Does <laughs> anyone so you know what that means? Well, yeah. Uh, let's get back. Okay. Yeah. Well, people keep survival asking, redemption. People keep asking me when is survival redemption going to come out. People think that it's actually out. And I've had people call me and say, Devon, I can't find it on the internet. I can't buy it. And like, it's not out yet. It's well, not out. It's a negotiation. <laughs> You're a very smart businessman. And whoever is the lucky company that picks him up. Oh so, my goodness. But well, let, let's not go there. Okay. Because we're not talking politics today. Awesome. Right? We're talking about Mr. Devon Delgado. Devonville. Right? Awesome. Devonville.com. Up and coming. So we've already started the PR work. Yes. Right? Yes. Your website should be up and running. Yes. It's, it's a work in progress. Work in process. And then, um, well, we're I want to hear about, about your CASA. Tell me about that. Okay. Well, CASA is an agency that I got on, signed on to uh, January. First of all, let me back up a little bit. I was accepted by two different organizations, which is Family Association. Uh, for children, which is also in San Antonio and in Casa. Um, after a lot of research and so forth on the internet and word of mouth and so forth, I realized Casa deals more with the parents, the children, and also the court system. Me, I want to be hands on. Whatever I do, I want to do the best and just be all I can be with it. Absolutely. So, to help the child, I need to make sure I'm in there. So, I went with Casa, which it's remarkable. I go to court. Of course, we get play dress up. I love dress up. <laughs> <laughs> well, he's always so debonair. That's what they call him, Savon, you know? <laughs> but um, basically what it is, it's the judge. And on the other side of the court panel, it's the mother and the father and their lawyers. And in the middle, it's the state, which is Child Protective Services and their lawyers. And on this side, next to the judge, it's me, my supervisor, and then the kids I light on, which is also the kids' judge. I mean, judge, excuse me, the kids' lawyer. And... I feel so beyond important because I'm doing such a big thing, you know. Yeah, it all relates back to your own personal story. I mean, the survival exactly the and redemption and so of Devon Delgado. Correct. You know. Correct. So um, I don't want to divulge a, a lot of mm, detail as far as the book. No, you gotta buy it. You gotta it. buy the Absolutely. book. Absolutely. You won't. 
You won't you you won't put it down. Mm -hmm. Believe me. It is riveting. Yes. And it's very heartfelt. I mean, you really feel compassion. Mm -hmm. You feel emotion. You have fun and, with the character. And I'll tell you this. This book is going to make a difference not only in the children's lives, mm -hmm. but in parents' lives. If you're a teacher, if you mm -hmm. work with families, anything like this, it really does um, it's an advocacy. It is. It's just something that you would want to. It's a moment story. Oh, absolutely. You'll be, you'll be, but you'll the thing be about it is, it's it. nonfiction. Exactly. This is all true. It's a true life story. So, everything about that book is true. Everything I lived it. It was my life. It was my sorrow, my triumph, and I am so glad that I made it out because lots of people will be in a different state of mind, and I'm glad that I'm giving back to the world because God gave that to me. Yeah. And I am just so motivated to just push this book out. It's out there. It's going to be out. Well, the wheels are in motion. I mean, yes. it's already out there. Yes. You're watching the first ever interview. And I would like to call him Sir Devon Delgado. <laughs> and I wouldn't like you as so. However, I am not a lady in waiting, nor am I a queen. However, I totally am, like, awesome. I'm all of that. <laughs> but uh, authoritative wise, um, I'll just have to call you Mr. Mr. Or <laughs> Devon. Handsome Devon Delgado. Absolutely. So, tell me something else that you're doing. I know because he's very busy. He's actually helping with, like he was mentioning, OregonMedia.com, which is my company. And um, Exactly. Um, well, I, I'm working with your, with your family, your mother and your father, and also with yourself. Um, I started just blessings. For some reason, I decided to be a songwriter. And not just decided, but I had something just kind of just the power, I guess, of God and so forth, and just some energy, and it gave me this wisdom and so forth. And I've written lots of songs. I wanted to write a song like Whitney Houston, I will always, not I will always love you, excuse me, Jesus loves you, loves me. And I wrote another one called, my version is called Lord. And it's, I think it's a lot powerful. It's, it's, it's moving. It talks about God and the Lord and so forth. And it's just, it's so awesome that I could, I could in me write a gospel song. Because who would think, I mean, I would have never thought that at all. The thing about it is that we are all very faithful. I'm like an extremely faithful believer. And I know that feeling of inspiration. Mm -hmm. I call it a moment of inspiration. Because for when, that, you, pray, when you pray for something mm -hmm. and you have the faith, exactly. it actually comes to pass. Correct. And it takes well, a while. Well, well, for me, it's like I get stuff in my head, mm -hmm. and I get all these little things and stuff, and it's like little visions and stuff, and it basically tells me like what I want to do. And I'm like, you know what? I want to write a gospel song. I said that. I I literally said that. I want to write a gospel song, you know. And um, I started like, well, what what is my favorite gospel song? Of course, Whitney Houston. I will, you know, I say I love you, but I know that song. Mm -hmm. but Jesus, Jesus well, she loves was your me. Inspiration. Jesus loves me. Yes, yeah, she was my inspiration. And um, so that's what gave me the inspiration to write the song. And then from there, I've been writing R&B and some, you know, a little bit of soul. And of course, my latest things I just recently did, which I'm so excited, my first two Spanish songs. Because one of my best friends, I decided I wanted to write a song for him. So I did, and I'm hoping he'll love him as much as I love him. So instead of one Spanish song, I did two. <laughs> the, thing, the, the thing about it is that you are always doing something mm -hmm. positive. And this is a true inspiration for everybody else out there watching because it's dreams coming true, but you actually have to put those wheels in motion. And you have to drive the determination. I'm so happy to have you here with me tonight because you are a perfect example of a person that has struggled. Um, a person that I just like survival nothing. and redemption. Your, your child in your book alone. Exactly. Tell I was you. I was literally I was literally poor. Um, I had hand me downs growing up till I was almost fifteen. Um, my my stepfather's um, boss would give me clothes of his uh, rest of his kids and so forth. My little sister wore my clothes, and she's a female. Um, we didn't have much. We were very poor. Um, we try to be happy and then of course I was dealing with all the secrets and stuff that was going on with me and tormenting me but I still tried to live a normal childhood I would try to hide it because I was very ashamed I was very ashamed and I didn't want people to know my hurts right. I was very scared so, what, so why do you decide why did you decide um, that now in particular is the time to 
let all of this out into the world, into the uh, whole entire universe? Um, what is specifically why now? I, I've asked that my I've asked that myself, um, especially now that I've, I just like five or six years ago I finally found my real father, you know, my birth father, and and his family, and I didn't want him and their family to know what happened to me, and then I thought to myself, I'm like, wait a minute, that's what happened. That's what your family, which is I call my mother's side and my stepfather's side, that's what they were doing to you all along. It was always a hush hush thing, you know, like shh. And we don't need that. Our children should never have secrets. Our children never should be shush. You know what I mean? Exactly. And that's why I wrote this book. And that's why I'm so proud of this book. I want people out there to realize it's not good to tell secrets. It's not good to tell your kids to hush. You know what I mean? Right. You there have shouldn't to. Be any there shouldn't be. There shouldn't be. Children are our future. You know, they're going to be the ones to be our presidents. They're going to be running things around here. And we need to give them all the love and encouragement we can. And, and all these bad people, they need to be put in their place. They need to be known that they're bad. Right. And that's the thing, because nobody fought for me. And that's why I want to fight for people. And that's why my story is so... I didn't leave... I didn't hide anything. I wrote the book. I wrote the book basically just like... I didn't want to... Nothing, nothing in turn. You know what I mean? And I basically just wanted to... Um, I didn't want to hide anything. I wanted to be as truthful as possible, even as a, even though it was going to be very embarrassing to me and people around me. Well, I think people are going to see you and be proud of you. Mm -hmm. Because if you're able, if this man is able to speak up and be so honest, he's just going to give that inspiration and that strength to anybody else that might be having gone through anything similar and just spread that message on. So we've talked about... Your new book, Survival and Redemption. Survival I, and I Redemption. I want to go. So. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> Devonville.com. Absolutely. You too. So this is what I want to do now. Many websites also. <laughs> I want to do something a little bit lighter. Okay. So I know that, yes, this this is all for the children mm -hmm. and all for, you know, parents and all of this. So I want you to tell me about this new project that you've started, uh, the animation. Oh, which project? Oh, animation. Animation. Hello. Absolutely. Okay. With OrtagonMedia.com. So okay. exciting. This is the reason I started with this company. They pursued me a couple of months ago after I was running around with one of my celebrity friends. Um, doing a little touring and so forth. Of course, I don't sing. I'm getting vocal lessons. Hopefully, who knows? Later on, I'm writing right now. But anyway. He, he, um, yeah. He's, came, he's hooked up. He's hooked up. <laughs> I came back um, from one of his tours and so forth, and I had a meeting with the founders and the family and so forth and they wanted me to be a part of this project and at first I thought about it I'm like okay it's kind of I don't know maybe not me well you didn't you didn't really see it it was just an idea exactly right exactly okay. so I'm like do I want to put my name on this or what this is just true and um, I came in for the meeting and they sat me down and I remember they were all there and they put the cartoon on and I was like, wow. I was really blown away. I was like, this is good for boys and girls and young adults and older adults. It's for everybody. It, it's Very family oriented. Family oriented. Exactly. So So tell me about your part. Okay. Well, I'm three different parts. Right now, I'm Lucky, which is um, Xiaomin's spiritual advisor. And he dances and sings and he's a friendly ghost and... He basically just helps Shaman with all his aspects and so forth from the story. And it's pretty, it's a lot of fun. I get to giggle and laugh and it's my own voice. That's the only one that right, right now my voice is not altered or changed or so forth. So it's it's my voice. This is true. <laughs> well, this laugh. Doesn't he have the greatest laugh in the world? It's, it's going to be world famous. <laughs> That's Lucky's laugh. Lucky's laugh. But anyway, so he does a dance. It's really cute. It's really cute. Um, I'm so proud of this project. Um, not only because everything I'm doing, and not because I'm up, I'm up now affiliated with the with the agency and so forth, but they actually gave me a chance and they believed in me, and I'm one of their up and coming stars. So look out for that. Yay! Look um, out for that. I'm very excited, and I'd like to thank all of you for watching tonight. This is a very very important interview for Devon because this is his first one. And you guys are going to hear a lot. You're going to hear so much. Not only about Devonville.com, Survival and Redemption, 
Um, other projects are doing. Oh, absolutely. Other projects. There's so, so many. Much. So There's so much more to on. come. Uh, Shaman and the Cherokee Adventures is coming out soon, so keep an eye out for that. Of course, I'm going to be part of that, and you know, I love music, and so <laughs> pure music, pure family fun, and it's got so much talent. I'm just so, so honored to have you here thank tonight you so with much. me. Thank you so no, much. Thank you. Awesome. All right. Devon Delgado, DevonVille.com. DevonVille.com. Oregonmedia.com. Looking for you, too. We'll see you soon. Have a good night. Thank you. Bye. Bye.